Southwest Airlines just out with its earnings that beat estimates by three cents. Revenue was a little bit short, although I'd call it in line. They came in at uh, $5.91 billion versus the $5.93 billion that Street was expecting. The company said that results were pressured by the grounding of the 737 MAX. And joining us right now is Seth Kaplan of Kaplan Research. Seth, what do you think of the numbers? Uh, they're good. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, their they're margins declined by like less than half of a point here, despite everything that, that's happened. Obviously, they're dealing with an operational mess with the MAX. Uh, so Southwest doing very well. Southwest still has uh, probably more opportunities than any, any other airline. Uh, you know, the opportunities partly lie in doing things that people might not uh, like, but that have been very profitable for other airlines. I'm talking about unbundling the product, mm -hmm. uh, you know, charging for bags and itinerary changes and then doing some other things that other airlines have done. So considering that they haven't done those things uh, the, uh, and everything that they're dealing with, uh, doing very well. You mentioned uh, before the break, getting out of Newark. Mm -hmm. uh, that's interesting. Interesting for United, by the way. Yeah. Uh, as, as you said, not a huge presence there. I was just looking at DO capacity data. Uh, 15 flights a day for Southwest. But you know, fly to Austin, Nashville, Denver, uh, Chicago, Phoenix, and St. Louis. So United loses an important competitor in, in those markets. So United uh, loses an important competitor, meaning United wins. That it's exactly. Uni there yeah, yeah, yeah. As you said, it was a big. It's big news when Southwest goes into a market. If anything, bigger news when they leave a market. They don't do that a lot. I mean, they have as much patience as any airline in the world. They can do that because of how big they are. Uh, but this is what you know. Capacity cuts, forced capacity cuts. In this case cause you to do when they're going from you know looking at five percent growth uh going into the year now looking at shrinking the airline you know you're not going to shrink what works so that tells you how bad it must have been at newark for uh, southwest you know they made some more comments too saying that they are currently assuming that they'll get regulatory approval of the max to return to service during the fourth quarter but then they go on to make the point that even if that happens that it'll take one to two months to comply with any prospective faa directives after that grounding's lifted so you're 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 really talking about at least the first quarter of next year before these airlines uh, can continue to put the 737 max back into play yeah boeing has been saying they said again yesterday in their earnings call they're talking about early fourth quarter Airlines, if you look at what they've been doing with their schedules, and again, that's, that's, that's not necessarily a discrepancy. You know, Boeing's talking about the plane being capable of flying safe. But in terms of in revenue service carrying meaningful numbers of passengers, yeah, at this point you're looking somewhere uh, right about the end of the year. Southwest also says that they've had preliminary talks with Boeing on compensation for the groundings. That's something we all anticipated and expected that every one of these airlines was doing. How do you think this plays out as somebody who covers the broader, broader industry, Boeing and all of the airlines? How does this play out for Boeing? How does it play out for the airlines? In a year from now, are we going to be talking about this? Well, the airlines all have leverage, even Southwest, which you know, nobody really believes is going to probably buy anything other than Boeing, you know, said in recent months, basically, hey, there's no law that we can only buy Boeings. Uh, so, you know, if anything here, these airlines, even if they are rooting very much for this to all work out with the MAX, as Southwest is doing as much as any other airline in the world, uh, you know, they, they have some leverage here. And, and uh, you know, in the, in the case of Southwest, the compensation is probably not going to be a fat check to them. It's probably going to be discounts on, on uh, future aircraft deliveries. But that's the big deal for Boeing. And, and honestly, the, the long term question, one thing I'm looking at here, Becky, um, you know, is there going to be additional pilot training required for the MAX? Because that was a big selling point of this plane was, you know, revolutionary operating e economics. But, hey, you could just drop it in your fleet. Pilots don't need a lot of retraining. If airlines are looking at this thing and saying, hey, this is going to need millions of dollars in additional pilot training over the course uh, of the life of the aircraft, uh, then that could put downward pressure uh, on, on pricing for the plane for the long term. Boeing, as of now, is saying that's probably not going to happen.